Where have you been? Oh, man, you know, I came out when I was 15 years old. and I did a whole lot real fast at a young age, and I just got to the point to where I felt like I wanted to take a break and um, make sure I had my, my home life and my family life in line. A lot of people couldn't understand. It's like, you're going to walk away from all this money, and you're just going to... You know, but I um, I really felt necessary to get myself together as a man, get my family together. I had a two-year-old. I got a two-year-old right now, and you know, I had made him my number one priority. Music was nowhere on my list of things to do. It was making sure that my youngin came up how he was supposed to come up, you know, and 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 and, and get what he needed, and for me to be there day in and day out with him. You know, I stayed home with my child every day, you know, and, and made sure that he seen me because I know once I get back on this road, I'm going to be on this road. So them first couple of years, it was nothing but him. Do you feel like you uh, took too long of a break? No, nah, I don't feel like I took too long of a break because my son just started school um, around the same time that I got ready to start my campaign. Everything tied in together. like. Um, it was time for him to start school. Um, me and my managers decided to go ahead and put this project together, um, start moving around, put this singer together, put it out, start getting crazy responses, you know, so it's like everything just worked right on time, man. I don't believe in no mistakes. God make everything happen for, for a reason, you know. Um, if, if anything meant to be, it's going to be. Now, there are some names that have been part of your career. I wanted to see where you were where you were at relationship wise to them. Um Bay Bay. Yeah. It's my dog. It's my dog. I talk to Bay Bay almost every day or every other day. Yeah, it's like fam, you know, outside of the whole music industry. Uh, I go to his house and sit down and bust open a box of chicken or whatever, you know, that's 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 gonna always be fam. Mr. Collie Park. Kyle Park, that's the home, and um, I talk to him every other week. He in Atlanta, um, I'm in Atlanta, so it's like I learned so much from Kyle Park to where uh, you know we just chop it up um, as adults now. Cause when we first met, it was him schooling a, 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 a young jit, you know. So now I just find it amazing how we can share conversations and sit down and have a drink together, and you know, just vibe out. Every, I, ain't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think Kyle Park um, really doing too much with the rap thing right now. If he was, you know, we'd definitely be in the studio trying to come with a banger. Yeah, see, he's been doing a lot of DJing. And yeah, yeah, I so, talked to him. He said he was messing with the EDM gang, you know, so big ups to him, man. You know, that dude there is a hell of a dude. He's going to always make a way. And what about Polo Ground Records? Where are you at with that? Brian Leach. Um... I talked to Brian Leach probably about nine months ago. He got a situation that he's working out right now. Um, when he finished working that out, he'll be back home on the streets. And, you know, he'll be too. That's who gave me my first shot. So, you know, whatever he need, I'm always there for him, man. He, he a good dude. He gave me my first shot. And if it wasn't for him, boy, I, I can't say it'll be a hurricane right, right in front of you right now, man, you know. <laughs> 